all right welcome back welcome back so uh i have this uh second one here another comment that came to the youtube channel lola and ola let me see if i can pull that up and post it into the into the group just in case you're not following lola and ola we might be putting up some content soon up there again we have um we have more than enough content in that library that you can literally watch for free okay let me see if i can find it oh, ah we haven't uploaded in a minute all right so there you go uh there are two thousand other people up there that still come there every now and then um but you can also watch our growth over the last eight years you can also watch our growth over the last eight years okay uh that's the link right there if you want to click over to it and uh and follow that page all right so let's talk about this one right here i'm just gonna read and uh i don't know let me let me see if i can post it so you guys can follow along with me let's see let's see if i can post everything and you can follow along with me okay i think i got something up there okay i think okay good some of it we got some of it up there all right i just basically lifted the comments directly it's raw <laughs> it's raw all right uh all right there's a second part over there as well okay so let's read together i said i searched something and came to this all right so we actually optimized that page for the search engine so when people search certain phrases they come up so i searched something and then came to this my wife decides everything without consulting me she made plans with her friends in front of me without consulting me she go visit her son's newborn <laughs> omugwa and comes back comes home late and never oh no it's, that's not omugwa it's just uh the same day right same day visit uh i just learned omugwa so if you wonder why i'm saying that uh and comes home late and never speaks to me about her plans she gets angry when i go out and visit family sends me angry messages because i've been out long everything i do is a huge problem for her what i don't understand her son's wife disrespect her now the tone of that says her son's wife he didn't say our son's wife so it must be a stepson or something to him fake smile fake jokes and she enjoy her even her son is disrespecting his mother cussing in front of her does not care at all uh, what she is to him still she goes all out for them but when it comes to me it's plain ignore phone and that's it i love her and she knows it she says she loves me but i don't feel it i'm lost and already i'm thinking of packing up <sighs> You guys are not nice. You guys are not. Ichidima, you're not nice. <laughs> oh, Tonya, you're not nice too. Baba is called endurance. Eh, you guys want to do it for tats, right? Is that what this is about? Uncle Beno, where you did? <laughs> he showed up. Uh, you guys are not nice at all. Please pray for us. You will change. This is not nice. You guys are not being nice. Yeah. So you can't represent for the brothers on the brotherhood day. Today might be brotherhood day. May not be stepson though. It may be their son, but now that he's acting up, it is her son. True. If he's a Nigerian person. But that channel attracts all types of people from all kind of uh, world. So I'm not sure if it's, you know, but I, I see what you're saying there. It, it might just be like, eh, her son now. Hmm she's managing him shine your eyes man mm. ah, this, that's real that's real that's real so somebody else left a comment uh, as a reply to the person this comment were left months ago today i just I like ah, let's let's react to some of this comment here you know um this person this is a reply to that message okay and let me see if you guys actually agree with this response uh this person says uh talk to her about it 
you are living counter to nature i'm not sure what that means is that a is that a figure of speech that i don't i'm not privy to what does that mean you're living counter to nature you're supposed to lead your household not the wife she's supposed to be your helpmate you're letting her emasculate you sir <laughs> is she emasculating or is emasculated which one it's gotta be one of the two right so advice 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 everybody come on join join me here all of us prestige family let's advise let's let's advise about at least 20 of us here uh let's advise uh just in case you need to see that again uh he said i searched something and came to this what video was he watching i think i i think it's necessary for me to to see what video he was watching because that, that may give us because he searched something Whatever he was searching was um, what video was he watching? Oh, I'm trying to remember right now because I, I didn't want to log into another channel right now. Give him advice. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, guys. I'm waiting for the advice. It won't be your last advice in Jesus' name. <laughs> Give him advice. You've been coming here for a long time. You guys should be able to advise uh, this gentleman. Okay. I think AG already given advice. Shine your eyes, man. What is the advice? That he should let go? He should leave it alone. It's over? Is it a wrap? I'm very slow to say people should leave their relationship, by the way. Because um, usually, I need to know more. Usually, I need to know more. All right, so let me see here if I can find it. Oh, okay, logged in. And let me see if I can find that comment. Uh, I've gone to, okay, not that one. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Some mean comments here too okay the video is five signs your wife doesn't respect you yeah that was the video the video was about the five signs that your wife doesn't respect you that was the video he was watching and let me see if i put some some of that the number five signs is uh, okay i can't even see okay it's actually a blog post that we did okay good all right cool now we have some cool backstories to it all right all right. Mm, 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 mm. When I get advice, somebody said, "Be patient." If she is your source of living, oh, is that what they were talking about? He's been emasculated long time, huh? Omo omo do omo do nibo boy. What's omo do? That's not Yoruba. The rest of it is Yoruba. What's I'm gonna do, AG? I'm gonna do a nibble boy. What is that? All right, so let me see. Oh, okay, so the the number. So it was a blog post that we did a while back. the The date of this blog post was 2020. Jesus Christ, that was back in 2020. Hmm, long time ago. Let me see what we said there. Uh, number one, she utters rude remarks. She calls you stupid. You're dumb. <laughs> voila, voila, voila. All right. Number two, she gives you the silent treatment. These are signs. These are signs. These are the five signs your wife doesn't respect you. All right. Now, why would people be searching for this? That video has how many views? Jesus Christ. Let me show you guys. You guys need to see this. You're missing out if you're not yet. If you haven't gone to that, check out that. Let me show you. Oh my God. I never expired it. I never expired it. Jesus. Can you guys see that? That's one of the videos on Allah.com. If you can see the number of views on that, type that into the chat. I never expired it. 
All right. I didn't see that coming. Maybe we've been abandoning something really, really good. We need to get back to work. Can you guys see that? Let me see. Oh, Omo Odua. Oh, Omo Odua. That's what you were saying. Omo Odua, Nibo Boy. Is that what you meant? No. <laughs> that video has 33,000 views. Maybe this is the point that Uncle Ben has been trying to tell us for a while. Ah, man, they suffer. Oh. They are searching. They are searching. That's why they are landing on this video. Hey, Oberyn. What are you going to do for them now? Oh, beauty. These men need help. They need help. They want your help. Okay. They want you to help. They are seeking help now. Don't say they're not asking again. No. They're asking for help. They want to know. He wants to know. What is he doing wrong? Okay. Okay. So that's the video. I guess I didn't. It was just basically. I, what I did is just narration. All right, good. Interesting, interesting. Thirty-three thousand views, twenty twenty. Okay, so let's help him. Let's let's help him. As a matter of fact, Le let's help this man. It's not easy to be a man. Mm -mm. I know you guys are used to like. Oh, it is not easy to be a woman. It is not easy to be a man. It's not easy to be a man. But hold on. Alright, so let's try to help this uh this brother. She's trying to get rid of him. Read in between the lines, guy, be sharp. Mm, mm. So what would you advise him to do? Run away, let it go. Uh, my advice is not gonna be far from that, by the way. My advice is not going to be far from that. My first question will be like, what? Like, come on, man. My advice is going to be around that same thought. Hmm. Let me see here. Yeah. 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 I'll probably be asking where's his self-respect. You know, because honestly. Hmm. Let me see. I think Tonya has something to say to this. Hello, Tonya. Good morning. Where are you plugging in from? From Scotland. From Scotland. Okay, that's why you're saying good morning. Okay, okay. Well, thanks for being here. You have uh, something to contribute to this? Yes, so just refresh that your question again. Okay, all right. Hold on one second. Your Niger accent is coming out small, small. I like that. Hold on one second. Uh, let me turn down the music because uh, it seems like um, I want to make sure people can hear you. All right, perfect. All right, so here's the question. All right. The question is, I searched something. I came to this. My wife decides everything without consulting me. She made plans with her friends in front of me without consulting me. She go visit her son's newborn and comes home late and never speaks to me about her plans. She gets angry when I go out and visit family and sends me angry messages because I've been out long. Everything I do is a huge problem for her. What I don't understand, her son's wife, that's the second time he's seen her son. Her son's wife disrespect her, fake smile, fake jokes, and she enjoy her. Even her son is disrespecting his mother. Cousin in front of her does not care at all what she is to him. Still, she goes all out for them. But when it comes to me, it's plain ignore, phone, and that's it. I love her, and she knows it. She says she loves me, but I don't feel it. I'm lost, and already I'm thinking of packing up. Yeah, I read all that, and I had already written down. Uh, I was on the, I wrote down the man's name should be endurance. <laughs> oh, that was you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. You did My contribution is this. Mm -hmm. um, it's obvious that the person wearing the trouser in the house is the woman and the person wearing the skirt is the man mm -hmm. and that's sad that's, un that's really unfortunate um, he goes about saying 
her son and the baby like he's not part of the family right it could be his stepson it could be his own child again an african man would um praise his children when they are doing well he'd be like you are the daughter of your father you are the son mm -hmm. of your father but when children act badly they're like, oh you know is your mother right well in this case i thought the man should be talking to the wife he has mm -hmm. taken his time to write a very long epistle i'll call it a epistle clearly mm -hmm. there's a crack in this marriage and um she totally disrespects him from what he says mm -hmm. again we're going to have a balanced conversation when we hear from her but right. this is a case of a woman disrespecting the husband and um she thinks she's living her life now she's mm. going out as she pleases i can guess that the, the age difference might be quite a big margin maybe 10 or 20 maybe it doesn't matter how many years difference it is but the man should really really man up hmm. i wouldn't say he's being emasculated but taking your time to identify all this problem and you're not putting your foot down you are the man of your home the way you lead is the way we are going to follow as the wife even if this the most strong-headed woman like mm -hmm. to be led hmm. i personally would never disrespect my husband that way in fact i take joy in honoring him and respecting him and in return he is the man i want him to be so hmm. it should be that way that is what marriage really is but this man clearly doesn't even know his role as a man. Hmm. And I'm not blaming him, but I think he should man up. Mm -hmm. Some okay. people might say go for therapy. Yes, they need therapy, definitely. I would expect them to have to be going for therapy, but this is not the time to pack out. Forget we are being sarcastic who we were um you know, laughing over like some people were just dropping comments, saying mm -hmm. pray for her. No, but this is not before you throw in the towel in marriage. Before you really step out and thinking of packing a house. Mm -hmm. I mean, there there are things you should have tried before getting to that point of I'm just going to pack out. Oga, Baba, mm. maybe you are more than fifty, sixty. <laughs> Go to pack out. You want to go and take a brand new mortgage, you want to go and start renting or sofa and um, sleeping on the sofa. I mean, what's your plan? You want to pack out Haba. Mm. Uh, so think again. Okay. It's not like if you um, apply for a job down mm -hmm. the street in that same company, you're going to get it straight on. Now, let me ask you a question. What would uh, yes. a man manning up in this context look like to 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 you is what would what's what are the what would be the first action step and potentially some other steps you can take in the name of manning up okay oh you're going to see our son okay then i'll drive you let's go i should be like no no, no i want to go by myself not today i'm not even planning of coming back today i have no problem i will stay over there so i'm manning up i will drive you down there or let's go together mm. because she's running away from something she's always going over to her son's place and you their son by the way are not mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if he's a stepson he said her son now that you are married mm -hmm. to her you have inherited her problem her joy her her family is now your family so that's an example of how we can man up Another way mm. you can man up is, could there be a resentment somewhere deep down? Is she mm. reacting to something? Is it a, a case of um, how Julie got her group back? What mm. am I eating? Talk to her about it. Like tell her, see, madam, today, you're not going anywhere. Sit down, let's talk. What is the problem? Mm. That's your man up. But if you don't man up, what do you do? You act like a boy. 
they carry long faces. You just be mourning about and carrying faces and expecting um the girl to, expecting the girl. not to get it. Yeah, she's not gonna get it. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So that is what I mean by manning up. Manning up has nothing to do with control. It's right. Just knowing that in this home mm -hmm. you have been called to lead. To and lead. Are you leading or you are not. Right. Are you nagging or are you grumbling? What you should be doing is act as a mm -hmm. Now there's a there's one of the second second uh, thing here. It says uh, number two, she gives you the the silent treatment, right? For a man that's been getting the silent treatment, what if he's trying to initiate that conversation, and he's getting silent treatment? What what what? Would, how would you advise him to go about? A woman that he's considered he's receiving re disrespect that's how he feels and that's valid right and mm -hmm. let's say in this because we give the signs once once a person is giving you silent treatment they've lost respect for you more so they've lost respect for you it might not necessarily mean to disrespect you but they don't have that respect for you so and he's feeling it as disrespect which is valid if he's manning up and he's trying to have a conversation and say hey let's talk about it whatever is going on with you right and it's getting silent treatment how would you advise him to go about that if she's just giving him silent treatment that means the home is a graveyard it has become a graveyard because we all know that women we are the chatterbox in the home we are the ones that uh we just don't know how to be some women like their people majority there's a video playing in the background or the music in the background or it's our voice you're hearing so if she's giving him silent treatment then mm -hmm. it's even worse than we think this man should really be um i mean people have sponsors in marriage that's why you have father of the day mother of the day or has it gone extinct now or not? sponsors yeah mm -hmm. you mean like a person can, they can use to to get advice from absolutely yes yeah people have that but they tend to have multiples of them too so oftentimes that can represent confusion for them or they feel like the person is always taking the other person's side or you know but i think people still have that but it's, i don't think it's some kind of god sponsor that one person um is that a culture or something no, 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 no. I, I'm just looking at this man now is um, trying all of the alternatives. Mm -hmm. The conversation is going as we're, we're speaking now. So if he has come to the point of silent treatment, that means anything he's doing, she's just like, she's ghosted him. She's and numb, yeah. I would be asking him, who are the people she holds up to high esteem? Who are the people she listens to? I'm not talking about her friends that she roll with that mm -hmm. actually wants... He, um, him on the street. I'm talking about who are the people she, she really, really respects so much and go to higher esteem. These are the people now that maybe can have a word with her. Mm -hmm. But in all these, I'm expecting them to go for therapy. But then, how would they communicate if there's a plan to go for therapy and she's not speaking to him and all? But now is the time to reach out to those people that they hold in higher esteem. And if there's right. no that you are accountable for, true, then wahala deal. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I know that no matter eh, how you pour fire on my head, there's mm -hmm. two people for you to call. Eh, whatever it is, I'm going to calm down. I've not gotten to that point and I will not. But there are mm -hmm. two people who go to high extreme. My husband knows that. And mm. the same for me too. And I will to speak to. But we've never got to that point where we have to call this person. But I know that if you call that person for me, mm -hmm. one is my father. My goodness. I must listen. Mm. I mean, but if you don't have that, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it can be rough. Tonya, thank you so much for your contribution. You want to hang out? As we talk more, or you just want to go back to the chat? I 
I'll go back to the chat. Thank you. All right. So Thank you so much for calling me. Thank you. And I think before I go, I just want to tell yeah. you that you Please. are well balanced, sound, intelligent. I love your conversation. Most of the time, you know how to pick the brain of what's happening in every conversation and really your critical analysis is so good. I thank like you. It. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah. It means a lot to hear that every time I hear that. Thank you so much. You might not be seeing all the likes and all the shares. Unfortunately, people don't really like quality. Quality is. It takes time. It takes time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, for all you do. And thank you so much. Well. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. you for staying up and hanging out with us. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. All right, that's Tonya from the Obodo Yibo family. Shout out to you, Tonya. All right, so, ah, one more. This thing is tougher than I thought, too. Because she added so much perspective to the conversation that, uh, you know, the man up thing uh, is basically uh, a major centerpiece of what I say here all the time. Unfortunately, that doesn't always translate well because... Uh, depending on who's listening, it may sound like you're blaming the man again, right? But oftentimes, if people listen long enough, it's actually me asking the man to also engage his soft life. <laughs> He's not responsible for other people's conduct and behavior. And if, uh, if he's attracting disrespect, the first stop for me will be to check myself. Am I respecting myself? Okay. Uh, not respecting yourself is not always um, it's not always uh, a deliberate thing. You didn't just sit down there and say, I'm going to disrespect myself. No, it's usually how you move, you know. Uh, the certain way you move that, that things that might have happened. The, the, the second thing I probably will ask him is like, uh, tell me the rest of the story. Because though it's a longer piece too, is still surface level that basically confirms what we already said the signs are it's like everything is saying kind of like it's very congruent with the signs that i discussed in the video uttering rude remarks silent treatment right uh she does not sort your advice she laughs at other people's joke you feel alone in that relationship of course uh that's gonna mess with a man's mind and make him feel less than Make you feel invalidated. Uh, the best thing that can happen to us husbands is when we get validation from our wives. Oh, 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 such a beautiful thing, right? I just gave you some key pointers, ladies. If you want to finger his brain, <laughs> just validate him, okay? <laughs> okay. But um, yeah, let me see here. Let me read some comments before. So like I said, I would, for me personally, for the gentleman that's asking the question, I would check myself into a rehab uh the first stop is uh what is my level of self-respect what is my level of self-respect will be the first thing all right so i see uh somebody just came into the studio uh show your face i beg and then uh, you can turn it back off if you want to i don't know that name uh show your first face really quickly and then you can turn it back up off Mm. Okay, okay, now you. <laughs> now, now, our brother. All right. But I've been doing how far? Hey, okay, brother, you're seeing that name for the first time. Uh, I don't want anybody to come and show booty <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> you, you see somebody posting stuff in the group earlier on. So we, we don't want none of that, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I signed it to my uh, I signed to my company account, so Google mm -hmm. actually returned. So you had to put the name on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I'm at work, so I just I was listening in and out in and out, and then uh, in the last five minutes, I kind of follow what you were saying, and right. I listened to the last caller from Scotland. Mm -hmm. He's actually fair and balanced in her opinion but i see chidima and of course uh, my sister Chingi, and sister mm -hmm. chidima they are already in the comment ready to battle and since i'm at work i can't hold my phone typing so i'm like let me just quickly call him 
uh, clear of what I'm saying in the comment section regarding this problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know what? If I showed the comment, I'm reading it for the first time. You know, sometimes I'm because I was listening to Tony, right? And I was engaging. Okay, I just showed it actually. So you said no, Chidima, he don't need to go talk who she respects. The onus is on her to listen to his complaint or guy she just get a divorce and allow her the space she wanted. Let me see what Chidima said before. Yes, that is definitely disrespect. There must be someone she listen to or respect. He should go to them. Okay. Let me hear your what you have to say about this. Shout out to Adebu Sola, I see you. Oh, yeah, go ahead, boss. Yeah, so part of the story that I get is that uh, the man is trying to communicate with the woman and she's giving him silent treatment and along the way, he also felt kind of disrespected. Those are the parts that I really get mainly from the story. And then mm -hmm. the other part that I can get is that the man is the one who is trying to make amendments. He wants to make sure everything works right. Yes. That's not the situation. So he's needing advice. So my take is this, and I'm going to still come from the angle of the brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Every man, until a man gets to that point that he understands that if you do everything that is right by your woman, mm -hmm. and your woman is has already zoned out of the relationship you just gonna you you get your you'll be you regret whatever action you take at the end of the day once mm. a woman zones out and you are the one struggling trying to bring her in my take is why stress yourself hit the like button hit the like button thank you go ahead huh? my take is saying, why, yeah. why why stress yourself just let her go maybe she would need her space give her a space divorce is two way now two-way traffic. I don't I don't see why a man should be pained. You are trying to talk, she's not listening. You're making every effort, she, she don't want to cooperate. Why, why force yourself that she is she the only woman available? <laughs> Give her a divorce, you go, you have your peace. Is that not what women be saying? When a man is doing the same thing, if a man is acting like a jerk, mm -hmm. the lady is doing everything to make the marriage work, and the man is jumping here and there all over the place neglecting the woman what would people ask the woman to do hmm. so it's the same my take has been has always been that look if you want this marriage to work it's both of us mm -hmm. i play my role i will be patient do everything but i want to see you making some move too your strike might not be as high or as far as mine it might take you maybe where i take like 100 steps you might take only five or, or, or ten steps, mm -hmm. but at least let but me see, see that you're making some yes. If but you are stretching your hand, she needs to stretch too, so you can pull her up. Uh, even if, even if she's not doing much, but let me just say that okay, mm -hmm. you are still in this somehow. But you're giving me all those cold treatment, everything. Me, I would advise the brother, give her her divorce. In fact, put it on speed dial. Put your lawyer on speed dial. Hmm. Let them let them accelerate the whole thing. May you get out of that marriage as fast as you can. Simple. Don't waste time begging a woman who don't want to be with you. That is how some men ruin their life. There is no hmm. need to preach, brother. Even if you preach from now to tomorrow. So far, the woman have already zoned out of that relationship, treating him as a nobody. Uh uh, uh bro, forget it. If the woman <laughs> yes, if the woman is complaining. Uh -huh. Maybe she is still saying, "Oh, uh, what you did, I don't like it. You treat me this way." She is fighting you. Everything you can, we can interpret that as okay. She actually loves you. Mm. You know, you did something that is making her react like this. You know, then you understand. But somebody here does something. She is showing no no channel attitude. I don't really care. As a man, why should you be there unless you depend on her for your own feeding? Maybe your livelihood depend on her. If not. You do everything you can do, it doesn't work. Give her a divorce, let her get the, food, the hell out of out of the marriage, and you go live your life. I bet wait till they're there. Hmm. Now wait till hmm. me I go do they tell you to so man of man of prestige. So so but I mean, you've been married for quite a few decades now. You're mm -hmm. saying you will just wake up one day your wife is acting this way, and correct me if I'm wrong, you will just be ready to leave. That is not the scenario you painted according to the story. 
Uh, they, are, they have the ongoing situation. Or is it just one day scenario? They say they have kids old enough that they're going to take care of the person's son. So, sound like they've been together for a while and he's just feeling powerless in that relationship. He's feeling emasculated, disrespected. Even when he goes out, mm. the, the, she's blown up her phone and being disrespectful. That, you know, when is he coming back into the house? So, she's still inside that place, but this is where he found himself, right? Okay, and, see. And, and what you're saying... You know, I want to know everything that lead. Like you're not necessarily wrong, but there's a there's a chunk of things between that point where you're willing to walk away, which seems like where is that, and when you start to realize that it looks like your wife doesn't respect you anymore. There's a lot that can happen there, uh, in between that, before it gets to, because the reality is that most people are not going to file divorce. The first uh, the first sight of disrespect or what they might consider a deal breaker they're not gonna leave they're going to wallow in that funk a little bit longer so i mean again like i said you're not wrong but i just feel like that's the extreme and after it's a lost cause see bro like, mm -hmm. you know like i said i was in and out in and out so mm -hmm. i only get that uncle that is giving cold treatment and everything and right. if you say they have grown up kids meaning they've been married for very long mm -hmm. i understand why the man wanted to work because he's probably getting older he don't want to start from uh, a new place or something but let's be honest for me i'm speaking for myself mm -hmm. i am not ready to be a party to a marriage where one person is happy the other one is sad or they are both sad no fighting is okay in marriage you're gonna have your issues and mm -hmm. everybody react differently mm. okay maybe silent treatment is how she react but if a man can come out and be complaining publicly like this this mm -hmm. is like he's yearning for help are you so, so I, I get that you're sympathizing with him right yes but past and that my, we need to provide him some kind of solution my solution is if you try everything it doesn't work get a divorce you okay. can't live in the what, what are the things he can happy. what are the things okay so i guess the discussion is that what are the things he can try before we get to that point where it doesn't work right okay. um let's go by the science let's go by the science let me not to is here hold on no not to but i'm bringing you up right um so these are the signs right number one sign let's deal with that if your wife is uttering rude remarks to you like she just she just tend to be rude now rude she does not necessarily see it as rude she might you see this woman on the screen right now she might just be like sure you won't carry the the garbage out again i have to remind you abby <laughs> those are not issues those are not issues those it, it, pa like it can pile it can pile up or oh. depends on the, the individual it can pile up on a person that's just one type right she just tend to be sarcastic condescending rude being rude can be very mild it depends on who is receiving it right depends on right so but let's say your own version of rude i don't know what your own version of your wife being rude to you will be right see are you just going to run to divorce court wait wait i don't even count that as rude if you've been with a woman for a very long time and one day my wife even can even do more than that self. i don't count it to be anything i'll just think like it's something of a moment now Mm -hmm. where it because something is uh, let me give you an instance you know i told you once before yeah. i wash plate in my house i come back from work i see plate in the uh, in the kitchen mm -hmm. i just wash it i don't care two three four five deal plates i wash it my wife never ever asked me to wash plate one day i'll give you an example now okay mm -hmm. so let's say she she come now around today and she like ah Okay, what, what, what are you doing? You see the plate and the dish, you don't even wash it. Mm -hmm. My brain will go bang bang. <laughs> and the next thing I will ask her is, wait, to, is everything okay where you are coming from? Because she has never done that before. So if never. she says, is that too much to ask you? If she follows never. up with that, Inko? Now, if she follows up with, well, why? Like, have I said too much now? Have I said more than that? 
what I would do at that moment is to just grab my car key. I go out or I go to my my office. Just get upstairs. Hey, hey, now we're talking. Are you hearing me? Yeah, I'm hearing this you. Is because this is because it's strange. She has never done anything like that before. <laughs> now my feeling would be that something definitely happened and she's uh -huh. reacting to something. Right. Okay? Right. Good point. Good next point. Day, mm -hmm. Next day, she come back. She's showing attitude somewhere else again. I will take it. She's reacting to something. So my own take would be try to find out what's going on with her. Mm -hmm. You know? So either at night, in the morning, or maybe she's at work. We, we talk frequently. So, I'm going to talk to me. What did they have for babe? Right. Who don't piss you off? I, do I need to go and break somebody's head? Just tell me. What did you have be acting somehow now? What happened? But if it persists, it continues going one month to two. And this one I've been persisting. This one I've been persisting. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's becoming a thing that is getting out of her. Ah, uh, brother. Uh -uh. <laughs> the third month you go hear from my lawyer. I even don't come up for the house before you hear from my lawyer. I say, I don't so you are, you are, you are, because this guy sound to you, this guy sound is you see the story on the screen right now. Uh, that to you, it sound like he's going through extreme already. She just pack up and go and talk to his lawyer, right? If that is what is available, that that's what well, that's what I will ask you to do. If it's not okay. working, if the wife is not yielding, because if it's not yielding, surely. Yeah. If you remember, that's why sometimes when we're on public platform, you don't want to say some things. It might come us as off. You know, anytime we talk about DV, where we hear of this, say it and no peace. Say uh, it and no we, peace. Where we, where we hear of all this husband, pie wife, wife, pie husband. And it's hard for us as a man, especially when you hear say man, pie wife. If mm -hmm. you come to that platform and say, ah, this is so wrong, oh, this man would have done this. But there should have been some issue behind, something might be going on. That make this man to react in this devilish way. Everybody say, "Hey, you are blaming the victim. You are shaming the victim." So, they do. That's true. They my do. solution is very simple. Before you get to that point where you lose your shape, where you break, you you can't just take it no more. You explode all of a sudden, mm -hmm. and then it becomes bad boys. You start beating your wife, or you start struggling her. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Before it goes that way, bro, remove yourself from that situation. If you are a valued man, if you are a man who you are doing everything right, the moment you leave the house for her, that you are going, you don't need any talk. Only she goes sit down, begin talk to her own brain. It's simple like that. And if you leave the house two weeks, one month, she's not yielding, she's not buggy, you don't have to come back. That's it. Call your lawyer, finalize everything, case closed. It's 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 a simple open and close, uh, open and close situation as far as I'm concerned. Okay. You want to hang around? Natu is here. Let Natu speak to this. Natu. When a woman and they go seek counseling, she don't pray. She don't seek counseling. She don't seek therapy. I didn't hear the Zim apply for this. I just hear... Oh, beauty. Why you do what about the Zim now? Yeah, speak, speak louder. Speak louder. Speak louder. <laughs> If you go and seek for divorce, you may come, you may come. Yeah. If you're not allergic to apple, if you chop up, you know get reaction. If you're not allergic to peanuts, if you know go where peanuts, they know get reaction. You understand what I'm saying? So now let's do this personality. It, these two things for women that behave this way is either they have a bad behavior mm -hmm. or the husband has been depositing. Yeah. Toxic stuff in the woman, and now the toxic stuff has grown, and it has started affecting the environment, and everybody is blaming the woman. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So let me give you two examples. I have one uncle that married a wife that has a bad behavior. That one will fight him and fight his mother even before the marriage because she's fighting with him. Baba still went to marry her. Two, Baba cannot even sit down and have conversation with her type of person because that one just don't get Do You understand? Mm -hmm. You see this man that is complaining. I'm not praying, but this is going to be the story of one of my cousins in like 10 years to come. And let me tell you why. This guy is married for 20 mm -hmm. something years now. He has two kids in college, one is in middle school. You don't have time for his family. You can only hear the things that he's doing outside. You can't hear them in the house. He's not complaining all the time. Matter of fact, you're complaining about your sound. Please bring your mouth to the microphone. Thank you. 
Put your mouth on the microphone. Thank you. Thank you. Is it better? I think so. I hope so. Yeah, continue. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. You know, it's not to know if you speak loud now because now they are person they do the wuru now. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Better. Well, better. 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 Yeah, talk. Okay. So, like I said, my sec the second person is a cousin that I have that I've been married for 20 something years. I think 24 now. Mm -hmm. And the way, like, he has, the wife said he has never sat with her and say, what's going on? What is this? Let's resolve this. How do we go about this? No. Most times she says that he takes decision and finish everything before letting her know. And that one. But, but wait, not to. She's the one doing that now. No, no, no. Wait now. Wait. I'm okay. just taking you. I'm okay, just saying. That's why I said that will be the story of my cousin in like ten years to come. What this guy is doing right now. Okay. And now the kids are going. They keep telling the mom, "Give us more time. When we get a house, we don't have to worry." And she falls in the WhatsApp group of women that don't want to leave because of the kids. Do you mm. understand? So now the kids are like, Mommy, don't worry. This one will be done in school in two years. This one will be done in one year. When we get a house, you can be coming over to us. Don't have to worry about daddy. And then the man, my cousin is going to be this man right now, be complaining that the wife is always with the kids. She's not having his time. Meanwhile, right. now he's the one that is showing that no time. He does not have time for anything. Mm. This dude is mm -hmm. always on the move. He will do stuff, and the wife will only hear that he has done. He will give money outside and you tell them not to tell the wife. His kids, you don't know what size of clothes they wear. He don't even know that these children change clothes every season. Hmm. And if they say they need clothes for this, you're like, ah, she be I shopped for you last four months. Okay, that's summer. We are in winter now. I go to wear winter clothes in summertime. No. Do you understand what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I said it's two things for this woman. It's either she already has a bad behavior. But my question is, how has he been able to endure this bad behavior for this long up till now? If it's our fault. Do you understand what I'm saying? Number two, it's either he has been depositing all his toxic behavior, never had time for family, the kids were happy. We're, lo we're losing you. Did we lose her? <laughs> Is it my network or your network? It's your network. Because oh. uh, we did here. You know how much I pay for my network. Are you there or not? Too much. Don't play. <laughs> don't play. You don't learn. <laughs> yeah, you're back. You're back. Yeah. Do you um, understand? So, like I said, it's either she has a bad behavior. If she has had that bad behavior, I was able to stay with her for this long and be able mm -hmm. to endure. It too. If it's not what, if she doesn't have a bad behavior, he has been depositing some toxic things to her. He has been doing stuff to her before, and now he's reaping what he has, he has sown, and he can't take it. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, if she falls in the WhatsApp group of women that are saying, oh, I want to stay for the children, she has stayed for the children. Now she's giving back to the children. And now Baba has a problem with it. So, in most cases, when you see people that are screaming like this, they are the ones that have done the dirty work in the past. And now it's biting them in the butt and they are crying for help. Let's call a spade a spade. But I bet also they are screaming because it's your... I have to... I have to push against you now too. This is the part where me and Brother Ben starting Kosi over the past s several weeks now. When we have um, when we have a situation in front of us, right? Uh, every action is a reaction. Every action is a reaction. We know that as a default of life, right? If we trace it one level. This person behaved this way. What caused them to behave this way? Maybe one level we can trace and say, ah, you caused them to behave this way. But honestly, if we continue that, that rabbit hole, all actions are reactions. Right? We can't say because somebody did something 20 years ago that it's okay for this person to do it this way. No, no, I'm not saying it's okay. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying we're doing root cause analysis now. We're looking for a solution now. Okay. Right? I'm not Fair. saying... Fair so enough. if you understand that okay you did deposit some toxic stuff and now the mm -hmm. thing is oozing out and is affecting you so we're going to go and look for a solution are we going to put apple cider are we going to mm -hmm. go to bj's and go and meet uh, baking soda and apples so so here's the thing with that right and i'm going to give you this formula you will see me repeat this formula all the time right we always have limited information 
we always have limit which is why i always say tell us the rest of the story if we have the person in front of us tell us the rest of the story right but you see me push against brother ben that assumptions I say no no right if we're it's okay but we have to spell it out and say this is assumptions everything you just gave us is a possible reality that that man has shown that woman shiggy but that would be assumptions at this point in time the reality is that most of us will end up in a marriage where there will be a moment there will be one moment or two or the other where you feel like the other person ladies you don't feel like he cares enough about you or gentlemen you feel like she's just rude and disrespectful you will enter that moment it's going to happen at some point right and most likely you're not going to run for the hills the first moment it, it happens right so it's not again it's possible that he's done that but now that he found himself in this situation let's assume let me even go with that assumption that he's collecting what the time but that woman still did there inside of the house and she still care enough to be checking on him and be rude to him right but it's not being received properly because he doesn't like it right i want to hear how should it handle it i also right? just you should go for counseling Counseling. Honestly, he, they, they both need therapy, but like he always used to advise us, he can start with the individual. Individual. Him. Yeah. First. Yeah. Yes. Um, because like today, I had a lunch with someone that was a co-worker, ex-co-worker, and we were talking about, she had a past relationship that failed, that really hit her bad, and we are talking about it. And I told her, I said, I don't want to have conversation about the ex, but mm. I want to talk about her. What was her role in this whole thing? What did she play? How did she enable his actions? And how she needs to like make adjustments so that in the next relationship she don't fall in the same trap. Mm. So mm. my advice for him in this situation is like he should seek uh, wise counsel. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the pastor he wants to talk to, but I always suggest that I don't have problem with people seeking their pastor's help or seek professional like a licensed counselor, mm -hmm. a therapist. Talk to someone oh, that has an unbiased opinion. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, right. Sister Natu, can I ask you something? Yes, sir. Uh, MOP, can I ask? Uh, yeah, absolutely, yes. <laughs> so, Sister Natu, you are saying the man is the one to go and seek therapy? No, hold on. Yes. And let me tell Be you before, what, before, he's the one that spoke out. He's, he's the, the one that's one complaining. That he's the one that is complaining. Oh, yeah. and the one that is complaining is the one that should go and seek therapy. Yes. But then, yes. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, when women complain, they will say, oh, no, take no. the man to therapy. No, I tell them the same thing. No, no, no. Except you don't get a good wise counsel. They don't tell you take the man to therapy. They tell you yes. seek therapy. Go and seek, seek therapy. therapy. First. You, you, if you are, if you are able to complain, you then you are you have some room, some energy yes. to go and seek yes. help. And also, aside that, like Ola is telling now I see why now I see why Africans don't go for therapy. <laughs> no, 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 because because we don't like the truth. And it's also, no matter of like Olai truth. Is, if, if I'm in this situation, sister, uh -huh. sister, sister, not to, I'm sorry, me, I, my sister. <laughs> if I found myself in this, if I found myself in this situation right now, mm -hmm. I am trying to communicate with my wife. I'm trying to reach out to her. I'm mm -hmm. trying to, I'm doing everything to make it work. Finish it all. And you are failing at communicating to her. it's not working. It could work. It's but, not working. Uh, uh -huh. And it's not working. Uh -huh. So I should go and seek therapy because something is wrong with me mentally. Well, what well, no, is no. Okay, that's not what therapy means. She said counseling, no. first of all. She said counseling, first of no. all. You need to seek wise counsel. The Bible actually said yeah. it. You need yes. to seek wise counsel. If but you are I confused, mean, yes, if yeah, what you are right. doing is not working, seek wise counsel you would if you are sick right now you see blood coming out of the wrong part of your body we know would you not go and talk to somebody no even aside that, Listen, that let's say you, you, in this brother, no 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 let's ah. also say you want to write no. nursing board exam you've written that exam four times and you did pass wouldn't you go and seek look for a tutor that doesn't Maybe you're doing apply something to wrong. this situation we are dealing with it's, brother you know. If you are talking to your wife and she's here, she's not hearing you. Maybe you are not communicating. No, no. Let, let's let, let, let me try. Let me try another angle. Not to. Maybe you are actually doing everything correctly. Let's let's assume the best case scenario. 
okay but the bottom line per you is that you're not getting the result that you want is that correct enough no no, no 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 it's not i don't if the situation applies to me so why are we I talking i don't necessarily expect to get the result i wanted what do you want let me ask you what do you want if you find yourself in this situation what would you want what is it that you want in that situation remember what i said when, when i started explaining my own side brother mm -hmm. all i want to see is effort i'm just saying if i'm in this situation okay good so I you want, want to, to no 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 let's I not drag it. it i want to stay right there but i you want okay. to see some effort you know they see the effort I'm out of the marriage. What you what you Not want like is that. effort. Hey, that's listen. If that works for you, mm -hmm. she can. Uh, there's that nothing to it. talk I'm about. I'm out. Uh, yeah, I'm there's, out. That's there's nothing to talk about. Now, that's now, the advice to the man is mm -hmm. take a leave, get, get, before you either kill yourself out of frustration or something no. bad happens. Now, no. here's the problem no. that we have. No. Natu, no. hold on, no. hold on, hold on, hold on, Natu, hold on. Now, here's the problem we have. This man, he know they leave. We okay, got a fine. problem. He's not leaving. Okay. So he, he's come to you. He's considered you a wise counsel, brother Ben. He said, "I'm not advising you tell him is leave. I'm not advising nah. him nothing." Nah. So you will give him. <laughs> See, brother, brother, he will just be swaying in a circle. Brola, this mm -hmm. is why we see this happen in the Western world. Thank God we have similar conversation yesterday. Oh, let me just allow Sister Nat to finish her line. Then I can, I can, uh, I can ship in. Sister Nat, sorry, please. Sorry, uh, sorry for cutting out, nah, Nat. Nat, you did it. Nat, you did it. Traditional know? man. Oh, what? okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can I hear you like now. You're trying to be a traditional man that is saying that oh, I can't be the one to go and seek help. If if let's say your wife is convulsing and you don't have the skills to help her, won't you pick up your phone and call nine one one? That is health. That is health related. This what do you think this is? This is behavioral related. Hey, Bro, behavioral yeah. what? Behavioral it's health, like, mental health. It's health now, but I've been. It's, it's yeah. health related. Mm. Let's it talk is. And and let me tell you, Allah used to say sometimes he says, some yeah, it, there are times that things will happen in your house. One person has to take the lead. It's going to be either the man take the lead or the, the, person, will, the, the person, person who is complaining skills. is able to take yes. the lead. Yes. Right. So if you are the person that has the skills, if she's not listening, mm -hmm. I still love my wife, but my wife is not listening to me. Why do you, why do you have partners reporting their wife sometimes to their parents? You're going to report your wife to her mother because she's not listening to you. Maybe the mother will drag one ear and talk to her. Maybe she will understand from the mother's time. Huh. Yeah. Not too. This is your. I mean, do you understand <laughs> is... what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we hear huh. you now. You're back now. You're back. So, now. Yeah. Oh, I'm back. I was out <laughs> yeah. before. For a second, just for a split, split second. Yeah. So what I was saying is that that's why you find sometimes, like even in marriages, let's say some men, if their wife do something, they get tired, they report the wife to the mother or the father. I see. I'm talking mm -hmm. to her. She's not listening to me. Why is he doing that? But I bet they're dragging you in the chat now. The skills. See, the problem oh. that we have a lot in marriages, but I bet. Is because people think that they are a hundred. Mm -hmm. oh, if you write, that's why I made example with exam. If you write exam one, two, three, four times and you're not passing, maybe you need to change the way you are reading, or change the way you are handling everything about the exam. Maybe and, it's going to better. Uh, even and, if you seek a tutor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see, if, even even on, even honestly, right? Between even in this conversation, we encourage these conversations because because. The way we interpret some of the even the simplest words, how we use them can be different from people to people. So imagine inside of a marriage where people are interpreting uh sarcasm, they're interpreting condescension, they have their own personal issues going on. Uh you're you're you know, you're 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 interpreting what the person is trying to convey to you. Majority of the communication is nonverbal. Right, it's their body language, the way they're behaving. That's the signals you're getting, and it's creating confusion. I don't think, like anything else in life, I I don't think the first thing you want to do is throw out the baby with the bathwater. You should first of all ask questions. Uh, I'm trying to accomplish this. Uh, I'm not accomplish accomplishing this, and I'm a little confused. Maybe you can add some insights right 
to the situation and uh maybe i can get some clarity maybe maybe not maybe i already know what's going on maybe we're in the Arabian, actually but, but maybe maybe i'm just maybe there's a way i'm moving maybe it's the way like for example the other person i asked they were giving cards and the bastard cards and we say hey the cards he's, he's in his brain it's like cards a nice gesture you should just come back into my world but when you start to read the thing a little deeper like hey, it's not that simple right how are we going to know these things if we're not able to ask simple questions? Talk to your, even your buddies, your boys. Like, hey, this is what I'm experiencing. Do you understand this? Does that make us feel less than? Is that what that is? You know? So it's I think not... that's what Barabin is feeling. If he's the one that, that goes to seek for help, it makes him feel less than. No, 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 no. no. That's not what I mean. No. If you okay. want me to clarify that. Clarify now, Barabin. Okay. Yeah. Let me ask you this, uh, Sister Natu and MOP. So, when the man goes to therapy to fix himself, that mm -hmm. will automatically fix the wife at home, right? No. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? To some extent. <laughs> I don't get it. Someone says... I don't get the question. <laughs> oh, you do. It's hard to get the question because, like I said... Rabbi. We treat we so, sorry, treat please, African no, no, hold on, hold on, Natu. Hold on, hold on, Natu. Hold on. We we treat African mm. problem with Western solution when it comes to marriage and relationship. When was the last time you went to Babalawo's house? Problem. When was the last time you went to Babalawo's house, but I've never been there. Uh, Why I've not? I've never been to Pastor's house. I've never oh, been, been to Pastor. Oh, I don't go to Pastor. I don't go to nobody. <laughs> the only close the only business i have with my pastor so far is i come to church you preach i read bible follow you i, I the message he to case closed i don't have time to come and meet you and say hey pastor monkulo come at the, eh, eh. may god not put me in that situation so we are different in our own approach i'm just saying from my own angle yeah, yeah I get right. it. the man need to see therapy and things like that but i always gonna speak from a point of an african man my thing for instance is this mm -hmm. we have a problem i i agree there's probably the man have done something that the woman is reacting to and if it persists the woman didn't change you do everything you talk you pray you complain you call papa you call mama the woman no change why stress yourself if so you me that marriage you're just gonna be you're just gonna be depressed unhappy no. feeling sorry for yourself every day so that brother, is how it's gonna be brother, you are brother, you're missing the point don't... you're missing okay, the point what's the point see therapy is not to fix your marriage therapy is to fix you so that even if that woman you. leaves at the end of the day you do you understand therapy is not for your marriage therapy is for you as a it's person for you. it's for your own good okay in if, this situation now what would the therapy fix in for the man way, Robert, then if your partner is behaving a certain way, there's some mm -hmm. actions that you're doing that are enabling that too that you need to work on. P possibly. But 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 hold on, not to hold on. Actually, I don't agree that he did something. I'm saying it's okay. irrelevant. But, uh, uh, right? I, wait, I, I wait, I can't be, wait, I can't you, you just you, you, no, I don't believe because again, you cannot predict me, it's case by case. <laughs> right? I don't agree that he necessarily did something. Even now too, when she came here, some people are just rude and nasty. Okay? Yeah. Some people are just like that. Okay? What we know is that him, as an individual, is not getting the results he wants. That's what we know. The first step is not necessarily the labels. It's not about the labels. That's why I use the Babalawo thing. It's not about therapy. I'll be Babalawo. I'll be pastor. The first step, ask questions. That is not that is not a crime. To just say, hey, I'm confused. I'm asking questions. There's no way that can be a crime to you, Brother Ben. That's a, that's a rhetorical question that you can engage. There's no way that can be a crime. To just say, hey, I'm, I don't know what's going on with this. Uh, what's, can you add some insights to this for me? Like, I, I'm, I, I'm trying my best to do everything I can do, right? But, but something is off somewhere. That's what we're calling therapy. I guess it sounds too robust. Robo, robust. Uh, what's the word? Uh, it's too robustic, right? It sounds too overly. Um, 
what's the word uh what's the word i'm looking for it's, it's, <laughs> it sounds extra like a serene no we, it, it doesn't have to be it could be your pastor somebody you respect to, <laughs> to help you shed light on some kind of confu confused situation you find yourself that would be the first step especially if you're going through extreme situation that make you feel disrespected but you still have if you still have in you to be confused and come on a youtube channel to put a comment that person wants resolution they don't want the marriage to end and the wife we can interpret what she's doing as she because i haven't given my solution yet we can interpret what she's doing as she doesn't care about the marriage yes rightfully so because why would anybody sit around like tonya said earlier on and just be outrightly disrespectful in the marriage where they you know everybody like at the end of the day most people still consider this an achievement even though they say it's not why would she want to throw what, do, those are all questions that needs to be channeled in the right direction and if you can afford it the best thing is a professional who can help you because the your mother your sister your uncle your friend they're most likely going to answer those questions from their own bias they might even be taking your size and be hurting you they might be like why are you tolerating that nonsense from her i beg cast away away jerry and you that's not how you feel this is your wife like no i know she's a good person and, and something is off somewhere like you said earlier so something is off. i'm trying i can't put my finger on it that would be the state of the mind of this man who is now already getting to the point who is saying i think i might be parking up not to an internet network but anyway but ben speak to that what i just said please i'm trying to 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 get an understanding of what you're saying if you can just wrap it in just a couple of sentences for me the what i am saying is your question the one that i laughed that made me laugh yeah right the question that are you saying what would the therapy now do what's the question again something like something to that effect yeah 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 the, the therapy will had their own perspective uh, they will be coming from a a, a non-biased standpoint right they don't know you from a kind of warmth they're just listening to what you're saying uh they have a tendency to ask you to tell you more of the story they might ask for clarification and say well when a woman is doing this it, it it means a lot something is bothering her have you guys had therapy in the past that would be the direction of the conversation is for you to gain clarity not to fix her what can fix her is still the way you move, you move. it's how you influence her that gives you the best chances that's what i'm saying right now okay now you have two choices this is the point I'm making, by the way. You have two choices. You can say, let's tell her what she's supposed to do as a wife and just do it. If that works, hmm. for me, from what I know, it's a high chance it's not going to work. Extremely high chance it's not going to work. Or you can say, hey, there's something going on here. Why am I attracting this situation? Now, that sounds like you're judging yourself. You're calling it your fault. No, far from the truth right it's just you trying to gain clarity wherever wherever you go to go find that answer should be the first step did i help yeah i get i get what you're saying i get yeah. you now um i don't know how much time you have left i will have give we, you we are here now a give specific it to me. example we're here we are here for right. it okay so a guy married um a lady here in the US and this case happened like about seven years ago now they got married the lady is an AA I mean African American lady and I'm getting I'm getting feedback is that you not too uh Abi is you but I've been no no oh, that's no. me I'm sorry I'm using okay. I'm okay. using my AP okay go ahead go ahead sir all right, so they got married, they love each other and everything. And because of how close that guy was to me, I warned him at the beginning of the marriage. I said, dude, 
I quite understand that you want to take care of business the Nigeria way. Mm -hmm. But please, the lady you are getting married to, even though it's in a wrong level, nine day, you sure that's not what I mean like that. Mm -hmm. I said, even though the lady you are getting married to, don't ever put yourself in a situation whereby you think whatever I do now is just for the moment. Whatever you do, she will expect you to continue to do it forever. Mm -hmm. So I told him, rent every expenses that you guys have to handle, have a one-on-one -on -one with her. Mm. Know what exactly you're paying every month. Don't ever volunteer. Oh, this thing happened to the children. No, oh, they need this. Watch what you volunteer because you're going to run into trouble based on what we know that has been happening between them and us before. So they got into the relationship uh, close to two years. They start having problem. Mm -hmm. What causes the problem? Uh, the lady has three, ch three children. Mm -hmm. you know, she's a divorcee. She just remarried. She has three children. And this guy has moved from paying 1100 every month. He's already dropping almost two grand every month now. Hmm. Then at the two years mark, when he was dropping all those money, till he got to two grand. He didn't tell anybody. He just, they cope and they buy, they go inside. So when he now got to that two years mark, the lady now asked him to put her children on his insurance. Hmm. Three children on his insurance. Hmm. Grown children, not babies. So. Like that's supposed to be free. <laughs> so that's where the Wahala started. So they start fighting, fighting. So nothing was smooth again. Where I'm going is that hmm. at the end of the day, because the lady can afford to lose him when the guy ran to me he came in through me everything when he ran to me the same thing i'm telling you on this show now is what i tell him dude you, you shot yourself in the foot i warned you at the beginning you don't do this do this do this with this kind of woman now that you are there already and you'll be tolerating it for this long you see that you continue or you get the hell out of the marriage mm. because she won't back down so guy went back, they stood his ground. Now the lady wants solution. Then what did the lady suggest? Uh, let, let's go to therapy. We can go to therapy. <laughs> right. <laughs> now maybe the first person will not begin the laugh when Nicole tells the story. <laughs> now say guy. So she's asking to go to, to therapy. therapy. Yes. Okay. The wife is the one suggesting, let's go to therapy and we can fix it. We can and then the guy now comes and say, ah. Guys, what to make I do now? You don't talk, say, me will go therapy. We should be the therapy itself. They charge, I think it was, is it $300 or $400 per session mm -hmm. or something, say, for both of them? Very expensive shit. Mm -hmm. I now told him, the ball is in your court. Here is what I'm going to tell you. You've already made these mistakes of crossing your financial boundaries. And I've told you, these ladies don't reason like us. These are not the people that. They will say, oh, you do this thing one time, they should have expect it the second time. Once you do it one time, second time, they add it to your tab. That's all. You continue with it. That is how you move from paying 1100 from the house to paying the four bills for everybody in the house, to buying the food for everybody in the house, to paying for fixing the two cars in the house, to pay for almost every garden thing. Are you feeling me now? So I told mm -hmm. him, go to therapy. Let me see if the therapist can get you off all these bills. <laughs> mm. Because we are on a professional platform, because every time I see people talk about therapy, I just mm. like to play the traditional my own. They went to the therapy, wasted money, everything. It didn't work nothing. Because at the end of the day, mm. even the bills for the therapies was still added to my guy. Oh, now because my guy they find Pali, nothing will happen. The bottom oh, line of what I'm looking trying for to Pali. say is, uh huh. Okay, continue. So nothing happened. So at the end of the day, I told him, if you have listened to what I told you from beginning, you wouldn't be where you are now already. 
Now they went to the therapist. At the end of the day, the therapy was the therapist look at the whole issue and told him, you know, uh, she's a woman. You got to be. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait till be that time when you used for the guy itself. They drag the whole thing up and down. I say, guy, forget. Therapist, where you go meet, he don't understand your background. He don't know where you they come from. He don't know how they, even the roles they go. The woman where carry you go meet a therapist, she will only talk about how you make her feel bad, the emotions, what she is experiencing, how your your refusal to put the children to, for in your own insurance, how is how is damaging, how is stressing her out. Those are all the issues, and you you get accent to. So your case now zero. So my guy came back and I'm like, deal with the shit. At the end of the day, now you the fight pally. If you still want the pally, do everything they ask you to do. Just sacrifice the following year. So you get your pally. But if you can't bear, don't no come whine for where I did at all. The guy end up paying about two thousand four hundred dollars the, the money for the therapies. Mm -hmm. I am not against therapy. Mm -hmm. But and that's why I've always said the one person that I've said the thing I love the most about therapy is Dr. O. I think she dropped that thing in, in, in Ubudu Farm WhatsApp group one time. I love who's the way who's she Dr. O? Uh, Dr. Mary is one of uh, Ubudu Yimbo sisters. Okay. She's the one that she's the one that said the best thing I love about therapy. She's like, look, a lot of people, including women, Use see therapy as a tool of manipulation to manipulate the other person to do their will. Well, whereas, just like you said here now, yeah, just like you said here now, therapy is for you. That's what Dr. O said. That mm -hmm. seeing a therapy is for you, is for your own healing. Don't see it as if, oh, let's go to therapy so that the therapist can, can, can correct can the other person. No, mm -mm. I've been in this same similar situation before. When my madam to the and let's go to the and I'm like, madam, here is the thing. Mm -hmm. You go to the therapist, tell the therapist everything that happened. Tell, tell her or him what I said and what you said and how everything good. I go pay the money. Come back and tell me what did the therapist tell you. If the mm -hmm. therapy, if what the therapist tell you makes sense, I swear I will pay you every dime of whatever you spend at the therapist. Hmm. You don't have to force me there. Hmm. You don't have to re because it's not like maybe I'm not against therapy, but sometimes so so let me ask you a question. We recommend therapy in the in the in the in the wrong setting at times. That's just what I think. Let me ask you a question, Brother Ben. If if your wife comes to you and says, uh, "Babe, um, we need therapy," what would be your answer? What is going on? Why do we need the therapy? That's uh, what I was. I, I just feel like I can't get across to you. Um, um, I don't know. I'm tired. We need to talk to therapy. What, will be the what is it you ask from me that I'm not doing? And that's that exactly you feel you can't get therapy. across to me. Exactly no, 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 no. Don't need. get it wrong. That is why I said it's difficult. We we have to start talking about stuff like this for people to see a, a brighter picture. Thank God we have people watching now. You can't just say at least if you are talking to a man for me if mm -hmm. let's say me and sister natu now we are a couple mm -hmm. and sister natu is telling me she can't get across to me my first question to her would be ah babe what happened what do you want me to do that i'm not doing see bro ben, but this is that's you How no the, the first one you said is what i believe the first one you said is what i believe sure? the first answer you gave me is what i believe you will do you know what happened sure. come on let's come and talk about then it now what happened oh, what that's, do do? that's what i believe what you would do on? and then and again you, you see just some, some women, women, some women when you say what happened like that to them they'll shut down you say some, if, if, some women that, right? that, that's like, that's why some people's wife are falling on bola left and right yes so if i, <laughs> I come to you and say and, 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 think we need therapy, and, and you said and you said why do you need therapy <laughs> and I say, I feel like I'm not getting across. You say, what happened? What is it that you have said? No. But if your wife say we need therapy, and okay. you drag your wife to your body and say, talk to me. Let me tell you two things, bro, Ben. One thing is that my husband knows that if he wants to get something out of me, if, if I'm tr we're trying to discuss something, like especially if we're on good terms, and he's, we're trying to discuss something, and I'm not getting, we're not getting across. If he wants to get it, he say, talk to Big Daddy. What's the issue? Big Daddy's here to listen to you. You know when you talk like that, you put the person at an ease to be able to talk to you. Do you understand? 
But when you say, uh -huh, why I'm not going, we don't need, why do we need, when you just say that, why do we, mm -hmm. is the way you will say why without saying why. So I should go and waste 300, 400 dollars. No, it's not no, about no. the money. <laughs> it, here's the, see, like uh -huh. you said now, we are different. Everybody approach is different. And that's why I'm, all, I'm usually strong on know your person. I don't know if you have me said that before. MOP. You've said that a know few times. I, I don't know think you've husband, heard me. Know your wife. But I mean, I don't think you've heard me say this uh, before. I'm going to say it. I think I've said, I, I used to say it a lot, but I'll start saying it again. We have so much in similar that we like to admit. All of us. That's why they are doctors. They can literally look at you and scan you and say, mm, you know what? I'll send this to you. Go and pick it up at the pharmacy. We have so much alike than we like to admit. I didn't say we're not different. But we have so much. There are patterns everywhere. If we can calm down and see. There's patterns everywhere. In our, especially when it comes to behavior. You know? All you have to do... But Ben, if you talk to me a couple of times, you will already start to know my... You know, my... Kind of like my demeanor. My... The way I kind of move now. And vice versa, right? You will have... You will pick up some things. You know? So if you gather a few me's, ten of us, if you observe us for three months, you will see patterns. We are human beings at the end of the day. <laughs> it doesn't mean we're not different though. It doesn't mean we don't have our different opinions. But when it comes to solving problems, if if Oyibo people that put all kind of solutions together that we we'll all enjoy today, uh, by using us of course, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like if, if Oibo people just sit down and say, ah, we must create a solution to everybody. We, te there's no such thing as technology. Right? You know what Oibo people said? Mm, just put a map book together for them. Every one of them will use it. They'll be free. Uh, it's, it's dopamine. Uh, once they see you enjoy it, the other person will jump on board. There are patterns everywhere, brother Ben. So keep in mind, I didn't say you're wrong. That we are all different how we see things. But there are some patterns. And that's why I smile and chuckle because there's some things that I'm like, if, if your wife or your husband, for that matter, comes to you and says, we need therapy, just hold your head and say, just thank your head. Because whatever this issue is, first of all, you don't have to do that in front of them. My point is that it's actually a positive if they get to that space when they are asking for therapy. Because whatever the issue is, first of all, it's not resentment now. It's not stuff that's being brushed under the rug, right? It's stuff that they actually want to resolve, right? And just by saying, oh, yeah, of course, that's okay, babe. What's going on? See, I led with that's okay first before I say what's going on. That may just be all they need. Just like that. But you know what we do? I did it before too. That's how I know it's inside the book. As a matter of fact, if you've read the book, you know it's inside the book. You know what I did? I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't have $400 to spend. We are here. I'm always trying to communicate with you. And you don't speak up. And you want me to go and spend $400. I did. We are all alike. We did it. It's a, it's a mistake. It's a mistake. You know? So it's so, it's it's so it's it's, it's, it's angles, uh, Brola. Yeah. So the wife can talk to the therapist, but he can't talk to the husband. Yes, now. Before uncle. Eh. Okay. Then welcome, we to the we're we're getting getting welcome to the real world. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Welcome to the real world. So when we, uh, when we want to carry our two, we will need to go and tell the therapist. No, At this point, she's probably not even giving you. Well. Uh, At no. this point, she's already thinking about not giving you Kirewa. If she's already no, still giving no, you. No, no, no. After we go to the therapy, we solve the problem, we come back. If we mm -hmm. have to Kirewa, maybe we go back to the therapist. I beg you. There's a good chance that one session will not fix your situation. That's no. number one. That's the point that you were making earlier on. No, that the therapy no not fix anything. There's no one session that's going to fix your issues. That's number one. It just doesn't exist, okay? So, yes, most likely you're going to burn that $300, okay. $400. Robert, let me give you one scenario. This has not to do with marriage, right? I, my nephews and nieces, they come over to my house to sleep. I play with them. My nephew has ADHD, and I think out of everyone, I'm the person that understands it's ADHD very well. And sometimes when he's like, he's and this thing goes off, I there's a way I talk to him and calm him down. Do you understand? 
So anytime they're trying to, his parents don't have too much patience. I just have to say that with all apologies. That's my twin sister, but yes. So sometimes when they are getting on him, we're trying to force him to eat and he doesn't want to eat. You just tell them to call Uma. Mm. And then he'll call me and I'll talk to him and then we'll come to a conclusion. So does that make his parents less? Does that make him not, does that make them not his parents because they're not able to come in now because of his, his anxiety is over the roof, but they're able to call me especially when they were in Nigeria, across the world, to talk to him and calm him down. Does that make them not capable? No. They, I mean, at that time, they uh, probably don't have the Have skills. you heard, uh, but I've been, have you heard this uh, proverb before? Anybody in Sunan, Jan Yeah. Of course. That's what that is. Have you heard this one? It's a scripture. Uh, a prophet is not in his own, what's the way they say that? A prophet is not honored in his own land. Yeah, you've heard that too before now. <laughs> yeah. Of course. So, so it's not a surprise that, especially in the middle of a misunderstanding, your wife or your partner is more comfortable talking to somebody else than than yeah. you in that moment. It's not. It's not yeah. exactly. It's one of. It's one of the things in our patterns as human beings. It's just the way. It MOP. Is. Honestly speaking, yeah. right? If 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 your wife realizes that anytime you guys have a misunderstanding, and your voice goes up every time and doesn't come down, it's like you don't hear her. I'll, she, I'll rather pass the message across safe. someone else. Yeah, she won't Like, feel talk safe. to him. Yeah, because she, she can you predict can't it. hear me. And that's mm -hmm. why they say, if you have a wife or a... I see. Ah. It will show sure love to them. Okay. If your love language is uh, gift-given, and that your wife is physical touch, and you're always buying her gift, you know, you see, you can buy me everything. Love Gift-giving is not my love language. Physical touch and act of service is my love language. That's why... You are in Maryland and you're in trouble. I will drive from New York to Maryland to go and help you. Mm. Before I will send a gift. Because that's my love language. Hit the like button. Let's pin other people into the room. Hit the you like understand? button. Thank you. So if you never understand, and let me tell you, until the day people go into marriages, especially Africans with our mentality, that we understand and agree that we don't have the skills to maintain our marriage 100%, that there are times that we need to seek help, Marriages will not stop crashing. I absolutely agree with you. There are times we have to seek help. But my thing is just that, is it everything we're going to seek help for? If we have to seek help all the time, this one, uh, anytime I can get across to you, we seek help. Anytime she talk, I'm not hearing, we seek help. Anytime I talk, she don't want to hear me, we seek help. Why are we even in the marriage? The answer is, no, it's not every time. The answer is, it's not every time. But the more because you embrace, the marriage. more you embrace, the more you embrace giving your partner the freedom to express their frustration or expectations, the less you will have to deal with that. Exactly. They will feel safe. Yeah, they will feel safe. So just to, to clear the air, because I see Chidima is sitting. Chidima is dragging you. Oh, see, to, I, I see her, <laughs> my, my party of life. She sat on her computer now, <laughs> typing. You know, women type fast. She just they drop her, poop, 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 they go. Say, ah, this crazy Ben, don't come again. Thank God, film girl is not here. So at least, holy she's probably, uh, she's probably here. She's probably here. She's probably listening by. She I don't want to drag me <laughs> See, uh, to clear the hair, to clear the hair, honestly speaking, mm -hmm. I believe in therapy. I believe therapy works. And I believe people have to seek therapy when it matters, it matters, especially if your relationship had too many bad bulls and too many emotional situations. But where I, where I'm coming from is just that at first, when you say I do to somebody, mm -hmm. try to know them. Try to know them on the basis of who they are naturally first, not mm. to try to know them on the basis of who you expected them to be i don't know if you get my point i get it be uh, interested be interested in them not what your own idea yeah, is. exactly figure them out first yeah. what do they want how do they do their things how do they want their things to be done? you know like once you can master who this person is forgetting about yourself that's why i so much like being selfless in relationship I don't want to make myself the center of it. You are my love. You you should be the center of this relationship. I want to see how I can satisfy you, how I can make you happy, how I can make your life 
more exciting because you end up with me are you feeling me now so when you know your person so you're a pleaser you're a pleaser that is me and how it works mm -hmm. i realize that whoever i'm even pleasing they are equally paying me back it's like disrespecting i love to respect people i call mm -hmm. everybody sister uncle brother so much i'm not used to calling people by name it's a sign mm -hmm. of how i respect people too and people also respect me even though if i'm not worth anything to them so the same goes into my own uh, my own uh how i believe relationship should be mm -hmm. respect your partner do everything to please them do everything to make them smile to make them laugh even if it, it, it is at your own if you have to sacrifice a couple of things on your own side just to see them smile see them being okay that mm -hmm. is my thing now when i try to make you comfortable i see that you are in a happy place then it becomes easier for me to tell you that oh actually i like it when you do like this or i like it when you say stuff like this and then i believe with time you will begin to now tend towards me now when it comes to this kind of bad boss relationship thing once you get to a situation whereby you are talking 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 she's not listening she's not listening and it's like there is no end in sight now i get it if you have done something in the past maybe like somebody said maybe the man have treated the woman really bad in the past then maybe <laughs> she she's at a point where she even kind of forget you she don't remove you i mean not yet you know, if you are situated in, in her life not yet you know i've given the solution in one way or the other since we'll be talking right the point you just made if you are talking 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 and she's not listening it's a good sign that you're not listening Yeah. That the, the man is not listening? Although it could be the woman too. If you are a woman and you think you are talking, talking, talking and the other person is lost, not listening, mm -hmm. uh, it's a good sign you're not you're not a good listener. They're, they're saying something... Possibly. They're, they're saying something else. They're not... You, they're not... It's, no, they are communicating something non-verbally and you're not paying attention to it. Possibly. I, I, I quite mm -hmm. agree with you 100%. And it's common with a lot of men now. I yeah. think it was on your show here when I said something that even my own partner, she do more of non-verbal communication than actual talking. Exactly. And it, I think I've told you here once, it took me mm -hmm. a long time. Me, I'm the talking type. That's why I like Chidima. The person like Chidima, I can, I can stay with her forever. We go to fight, we go to play the next day because she will tell her mind. She will tell her mind. You, no, you feel me? <laughs> Honestly. Uh, like, you, you remember the Baba yesterday that said you should be listening more so to what she's not saying. Exactly. More so than what she's saying. Right? Yeah. yeah. So that's why like somebody like chitima that you do the chitima go type pa, 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 pa. that means even in real life if you are living with her in the house she's expressive she go mm -hmm. talk i so much like people like that because once you talk now we know where we're all at day and me if you if i pass my boundary once you talk i quickly adjust so i i get it i live with somebody when no they when no they you like know what you know why i Body shake and the night they take communication. You know, you know why that's an expectation, and that's an expectation that can turn out to be unrealistic. Um, maybe not unrealistic, but it's going to end up in Kwakoto. If you're a talker, you tend to uh, you tend to expect other people to also express themselves in the same way, right? At least that's what you appreciate. Because hey, mm -hmm. I talk, I speak my mind. Why can't you just speak your mind? This is where the love language is coming. Right. Voila, this, is what they this is where they come. No speaking yeah. mind. If they know, if they are not speaking the way you like, or the oh. way you are, your your own senses are familiar with, it, it becomes basbos, and that's the issue that most people are dealing with. In that's the majority of the issue, not uh, uh, infidelity or finances. The finances is led by people not knowing how to communicate or not knowing how to influence. That's what it all comes down to. You see what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. So it, it's yeah. a, it's it's a it's not it's you know we are having this conversation not not out of the ordinary. It's because it's a very complex thing. You know that's why the number one formula to all of this is active listening. And when you are the person in the situation like this gentleman we're talking about, 
when you are in the person in the situation and you're caught up in your emotions, it's very hard for someone to be asking you to be actively listening when you are hurt yourself. Yeah. It's, it's a very hard thing, you know, because you, f- you start to feel like that's not fair. Remember, we talked about the fairness thing. And when you don't go in that angle of fairness, ah, it's going to get worse, you because know, it's, it's mm. essentially basketball at that point in time. That's, you might even say it out. That's not fair. I, I, I speak my mind. How come you can't speak your mind? Mm-hmm. Right? Why can't you just tell me your mind so we, we can fix it once and for all? And then when you go spend that three hundred dollars and nothing came out of it, right? Even the, your own resentment go deep deeper. Because <laughs> you made me waste all that money. Ah, you go pay me back. <laughs> <laughs> it get it gets I... worse. <laughs> you gonna pay me back, man. <laughs> you know. And it's 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 this simple. It's not easy, but simple. It's this simple. Active listening. Listen to understand where is this person coming from? You don't have to have response. If you listen to understand what they are trying to say first, take your time. Say, I hear you. Take your time. If you have answered, then say, I hear you. That's your wife after all, right? You're just listening to understand. Maybe that's your husband too. Okay, I hear you. Uh, let me give that a thought. And if you authentically came back with an answer that is actually being, that's being processed, right? See how simple that is. That's not easy. Because once your emotion kicks in, the only thing you can interpret is, have you really laying me? After everything I've done for you? That's where your mind is. Naturally so. so that's why we ask for emotional intelligence. That's why we say, hey, 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 hey elevate, elevate beyond just... Because most normal human beings, we react at each other. Yeah. You know? So it's, 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 it's even, even therapy, I'm almost, almost not, almost want to agree with you just in a different way but therapy works if you go there to actually use the help and you understand that one session is not going to fix anything right so it works if you are there not to because you made a good point that other people go there to try to manipulate people meaning they want the therapy to correct the other person that's also the wrong angle it's not going to work you should go there to learn uh this uh, this uh, to seek understanding right if you do that, uh, then and then you do that a few times, it becomes a second part. You, there's a high chance you won't need, quote unquote, the therapy as much because there's now understanding. Most people use the therapy to fix their partner for them, and they have to stay in that. So some of them are get trying to get the therapy to fix their their grandfather that passed away a long time ago. <laughs> you remember that part of the conversation? <laughs> Could it work? So, so I get the offensive sound of the person who is complaining has the choice to choose to seek understanding because it's like, ah, you are the victim now. It's like victim shaming. Like, no, no, we're saying you're complaining. That's okay to complain. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just a normal human being. You find yourself in the middle of a (laughs) potopoto. I get it. Not your fault, but seek understanding. I agree. I'm actually going to try this one, though, MOP. Ah, you Maybe. better. No, like... You better. You better I, try. I know it's easier. I, I piss people off easily. So mm-hmm. the next person I'm going to piss off, when the person goes, I'll tell her, you need to go see a therapist. You have an issue. <laughs> That's why you are... You will tell it to like the that. person. <laughs> that one is manipulation. <laughs> that one is manipulation. Uh, Wait, let, let's not to do have something to say about this, or you want us to cover the Jay Z story together, real quick. Let's round up with that. Uh, I think we should just uh, go ahead and wrap this up, but Ben is exhausting. You know, understand <laughs> my father. I'm just gonna leave it alone. <laughs> You're gonna let no, go. No, no, no. I understand you, <laughs> sister. I'm just I get I'm you. Just <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to be the Nigerian man this time around. No, just, you I know, I'm just trying to explain why we don't go, why we don't go to therapy. Ben, so it's not. Well, ben, mm-hmm. I understand. I also want you to understand that that's why we need men like you to always push this narrative of why it is important for our men to do this because the world is evolving. Honestly speaking, and these women are not the women of analog years. Do you understand? They are mm-hmm. either open. The women are by day knowing what they want. It's not that years that they used to do, uh, what do they call that, uh, this thing that they do for circumcision, they do for women, that the woman is just to reproduce. Now your wife wants to touch everywhere in her body. She, she knows what she wants. 
If you're not doing, she will tell you. So men need all of that. Men need to learn all of that. And they'd be wondering why their wife is calling for bone outside. When somebody is touching from the tip of her head to the sole of her feet. And you are there, you don't want your hand to touch her. You see, I feel threatened now. That's a now. threat, though. That's a threat, though. Okay. I feel threatened <laughs> now. And every man that is listening now, we all feel threatened. That's you a threat. Say, the wife are falling on top bola outside. That's you are threatening holy. us. That's the holy. That's the holy intention. <laughs> you, you put your guts off. That's the holy intention. <laughs> oh, no. Women, oh, women have, women have. Uh, stay with me. Let, let's cover this last story together. I want to hear. I'll just hear your thoughts, and we'll call it today. Uh, Ag says, women have different ways of communicating. Learn to read, study body languages of your partner. When a lady says, "I'm fine" or "It's okay," please, probably more. Uh, it is not okay, or when they suddenly go quiet. Yes, I would just give them some space, though. Personally. If she said, I know that if they say it's okay, it's fine. Probably it's not okay, it's fine. But give some space. Leave some room. Allow God to do the wonders for you. You don't have to do all the work. You don't have to carry all that weight. She probably needs some time to process whatever is going on there. Women are good at this and know when to ask. Compliment. Yes, timing. Absolutely. Good point. All right. So, if you have any opinions about this, leave them in the chat too. Leave them in the chat too. I have my brother and my sister here. They're helping me out. Uh, the 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 actual solution for that man, who, if you are if you are getting disrespect, I would check myself first. That would be the first step. Okay, make sure that I am not the one attracting disrespect. If you lack self-respect, you will attract disrespect. It doesn't mean it's your fault. It just means you don't know what you're doing. All right. Um, drop the mic. Drop the mic. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll be right. If you like this, you will like the next segment.